five questions for Southside's YouTube channel. We are joined by Party Marty Skull. Sir, how's it going? Very well, thank Thanks you. For me. Thank you. The first winner of the Speed King tournament yes. and the first winner of the Speed King belt. That was me. What does it mean to you to do that again today? Well, if I do do it again today, yes. but uh, yeah, it's very important, you know. Uh, I mean, obviously, I made a good name for myself, become the first ever speaking champion and this year you know it's all stacked against me you know we've got there's more guys in the tournament uh are gonna be sort of bigger names uh so for me to come up on top tonight you know it would be a it'd be a big deal and i think you know the speaking tile i think i you know i had a really good reign with that I had some some good matches and you know I, you know i carried the belt with uh sort of the pride and honor it deserves and uh you know my waist is feeling kind of empty so i'd kind of like to uh, get some gold back as a former Speed King champion, uh, and we've got Robbie X, who I know you've feuded with, uh, as the Speed King champion, right. should you guys have a bye to a second round, or should there be an element where you should be in the mix anyway? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you know, I think it's kind of unfair, actually, the kind of uh, the rules, maybe, because Robbie X, you know, he's, he's against, you know, it's 13 other guys tonight after his belt, you know, but that, that's what makes the belt, you know, such a prestigious belt, the fact that it is hard to, to win, you know, I had to beat, I think it was, you know, another 11 guys when I won it, you know, so it meant a lot more when I won it. So yeah, I don't think we need buyers and stuff, you know, I'm comfortable enough to, uh, to feel as if I can, you know, get to the final and, and win the belt and, uh, you know, we want competition, that's exactly what we want and, you know, we've got guys over here like, you know, Jay Lethal and Samurai Del Sol, you know, I want to get in the mix of those guys and, uh, you know, show that I can compete, you know, with, with the best in the world. Speaking of Jay Lethal, obviously um, star of TNA Wrestling, yourself done your work with TNA. What does it mean to you as an English wrestler when you've got these imports coming over to compete in the tournament? Are you all for this or are, is this uh, all against this time? Oh, I'm all for it. Like, like I said, like I just want the best competition in the world, you know, like... Uh, I mean, obviously, I travel around myself, and uh, but it's always great when they come over here, you know. Like, um, I mean, I pretty much wrestled like every sort of British wrestler is, so you know, I always want to have new competition, and uh, yeah, like the more imports, the better. I think you know they they're obviously you know very good. That's why they brought over in the first place. So uh, yeah, I'm all for it. You know, I'm looking forward to watching their matches tonight, and uh, yeah, hopefully, I get to mix up with uh, a few of the other guys. That'd be nice. Going to you, Marty. Who inspired you to get into wrestling? The very first place is young Marty Scott. Who inspired you to get into it? Um, I, not necessarily, well, I mean, I, did, I, I wanted to become a wrestler as soon as I saw it, and I think, like, my, my favorite wrestler as a kid was, uh, was Bret Hart. Um, sort of growing up, like, I was pretty much brought up by my mother, and I was only really brought up by, like, my mom and my, my auntie and my gran, and, like, my primary school teacher was a female, so, like, I didn't really have any male role models as a kid growing up, so I kind of turned to wrestling as my kind of male role model, you know, and, and Bret Hart was the man, I guess, so uh, Bret Hart and, like, the Bulldog as well, uh, and then later on it was, you know, The Rock and those sort of guys, but I have, I have loads of favourites, I couldn't, I couldn't name more, too many. <laughs> and finally, the last question, what's next for Party Marty Scott? What's the rest of 2013 and 2014, what's next on the agenda? Well, I think, uh, you know, obviously more of a stupid haircut I've got going on at the moment, yeah. This is going to continue getting out of control, you got that to look forward to, and uh, yeah, maybe more of a, maybe more of a darker side to uh, Party Marty Scott, maybe, and uh, it's gonna, you know, there's a lot, of, there's a lot of good things in the pipeline. I can't reveal now for this year some big, big things, and I'm, I'm really excited. So uh, I think over the course of this year, people are gonna start to, to see that, and uh, you know, people are gonna start to really sort of uh, believe in Marty Scott, like I do. I'm gonna make a believer out of everyone. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen, Marty Scott.